Welcome back to my channel. So I'm not wearing makeup for the purpose of this video because I am going to be sharing with you guys my skincare routine and I get so many questions on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, all over about my skincare routine and finally I decided to shoot a video for you guys. First I'll give you guys some history about my skin and how it was dealing with acne as a teen because I had really bad acne but I started getting acne maybe when I was in my late teens like 17 18 and I tried everything I tried Clarisol, Neutrogena, everything at a drugstore plus I tried um, proactive and that just irritated the hell out of my skin so one day I went to a Jamaican beauty supply store and one of the ladies suggested that I use African black soap because she said it was good for acne prone skin, um, skin with psoriasis and skin with eczema and I just happened to have acne and eczema. I really couldn't wear makeup as a teen because the texture of my skin was so bad. The best advice I ever got for skincare was to go natural. So in the morning when I wake up, I use Shea Moisture African Black Soap just to cleanse my skin of impurities and stuff like that. And then I proceed to use their Problem Skin Facial Mask. This is just like an African Black Soap facial mask. And it really helps remove excess oils that cause acne and also just lifts the impurities of the skin. I like to put this on in the shower because I feel like the steam of the hot water really intensifies the benefits of this mask. So this is really good. So I've been using this Vanity Ultimate Spa skincare system for about a year now. I first saw it on Instagram, this girl was promoting it and it was about 27 bucks so I jumped right on it. And this has been so good to me over this year, this has been my baby, I take this everywhere I go every time I travel I take this this is so travel appropriate because literally you just grab it and throw it in your carry-on but yeah this brush brings um, three heads this is a cleansing sponge head this is a silicone head which resists bacteria buildup and this is an exfoliating head if you have really dry like skin as I do and this brush has two settings the first one is a soft Spin, like so and then you can elevate the speed Ooh, it's still a bit wet but this is really fast so if you have really flaky skin this is ideal for you and yeah so I love this because it helps remove impurities it gets right into your pores removing all the impurities that cause acne it helps future breakouts because it's cleaning so much better than just using a cleanser alone. So if you're like me, this product is ideal for you because it really helps remove dead skin cells, literally brushes them away, and it helps regenerate and restore new cells, and ultimately your face will look so much fresher, so much cleaner, and so much um, newer looking. I love combining my brush with my favorite cleanser. This is Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Oil Soap. It is organic. It has so many different oils, essential oils in it. So I really like this because I really feel ap like the combination of these two really, really, really makes my skin feel so rejuvenated and fresh. My face feels squeaky clean after I use these two products combined and I love it. So I reached out to the people over at Vanity Planet and they so kindly gave me a discount code for you guys. This brush is usually $125 but with the discount it'll only be $38 guys. That's a huge savings. So jump on it. So to tone my skin, I use these Humphreys Witch Hazel Cleansing Paths. My grandma used to use the liquid version when I was younger as a astringent toner. 
but I decided the cleansing pads were better after I cleansed my face just to remove all the um, residue or any dirt or makeup that I left behind. So after that, I go ahead and use the Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. And I love this product because it has aloe and rose water, which both have anti-inflammatory properties. And it's also really good to remove the excess oils and restore the skin's pH balance. And I love products that contain aloe because aloe has a really cooling effect on the skin. So that's my toning routine. After I go ahead and tone my skin, it's essential that I moisturize the hell out of my dry skin because if not, I cannot apply makeup. But I follow up with the vitamin C um, serum and it helps give you that glow. It helps dark spots. It really helps dark spots. Guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have really bad um, acne scars and this really helps diminish the appearance of those scars and lighten them over time. So I love vitamin C serum. And I usually mix my vitamin C serum with my Problem Skin Moisturizer by She Moisture. And it's just a really light moisturizer. Nothing too heavy. It says here that it has tamarind extract and tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is also ideal for somebody with acne prone skin because it really min minimizes the bacteria in the pores. And sometimes if I'm feeling really dry, I go ahead and use my organic coconut oil. This restores the hell out of my skin. And it's also good to um, nourish your hair follicles on your eyebrows and your lashes, which promote hair growth. So after I've cleansed and moisturized, I proceed to use my different methods of acne treatments and this one is the one I usually use on a daily basis and I like this product because it is tea tree oil based it also has lemon oil and eucalyptus oil so this really has a whole bunch of essential oils that help diminish acne and this is the lightest most natural formula that I found for acne because the other ones contain heavy chemicals like this Mario Badescu drying lotion it's really good and really effective, however, it can be a bit harsh on my skin whenever I do apply it on my skin. The surrounding skin gets really red and irritated, but it is very effective. You just take a Q-tip or a cotton swab and dip it into the pink part of the fluid and just literally spot treat all your acne. And lastly, the most affordable method of acne treatment is my Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Spot Gel and I literally just dab it on my cheeks mostly because that's where I get the most acne and leave it on overnight and in the morning it really helps to diminish the size of my breakouts. Whenever I do my acne treatments my skin does get red and a bit irritated so I took it upon myself to buy an aloe vera plant and literally whenever my skin is bad I cut a piece off and use the fluid inside because it's filled with aloe and literally create a face mask. It's 100% pure gel. That's the best method for me personally because it's so cooling. So aloe is used to treat sunburns, reduce redness and also reduce inflammation. If you want to use a more practical method, I found this aloe vera 100% pure gel. It works just as nicely and it has no scent. So it's really nice just to cool the aftermath of your acne treatments. Another thing that I love to do are facial masks. Masks are essential. I love making my own mask and I'm going to have a video on just face masks for you guys. But yeah, that really, I think masks really contribute to my clear skin now. You guys can get masks anywhere, Sephora, Urban Outfitters even has like three for $10. Um, beauty supply stores, Amazon, you guys can get masks anywhere or you guys can make your own mask. So my nighttime routine is pretty similar to my daytime routine. Um, I use pretty much the same products, only I remove my makeup with 100% organic coconut oil and it's literally good to remove makeup because it's oil based of course so it gets all the mascara off, all the foundation off, all the lip stuff, the matte lip stuff, you know how that goes. 
getting that off is a nightmare, but coconut oil does the job so well. And I follow up with a heavier um, cleanser. So I go ahead and use the Shea Moisture Facial Scrub. So after I wash my face, I either ensure that all my makeup is off with a makeup wipe or I go ahead and use my witch hazel cleansing pads just to remove any residue that I might have left. If I am wearing heavier makeup that day, I go ahead and use my Ultimate Skin Spa system just to ensure that all the makeup comes off because this gets right into the pores, removing all the makeup from my face. So after my makeup is off and I tone my face, I go back in with the rose water and just spray a couple of pumps of that and just moisturize my face with coconut oil. So guys, that is it for my skincare routine. I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope you learned some tips and tricks. And if you have acne or dry skin, this video is perfect for you. So guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and leave any video requests down below. Don't forget, the code for the Vanity Planet set is down below in the description. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Ow!